My big question for architecture is why do humans have to adapt to buildings? and why can't architecture adapt to humans? So I wanted to know why architecture itself couldn't be animated, why architecture couldn't move, and why it had to be static. Thermal bimetal is a sheet metal, and it's actually a combination of two different alloys of metal together that are laminated. One side will expand more than the other when heated. This material is most commonly used in thermostats, as the coil in a thermostat, um, but has never ever been used in architectural application before. My most recent application of the material is in an installation called Bloom. The whole purpose of the installation was to make it as a demonstrative surface that actually can show two major things. One is to show how the surface could be a sun shading device, and the second was for a ventilating purpose, so that in the event that you want hot air to escape from below, the surface would open up and the hot air would actually rise up and move through the surface itself. So it took us about 14,000 pieces. These are the type of materials that we need to be producing, developing, and using in architecture. My interest right now is to focus on how to actually bring some of the thermal bimetal to building components. One of the things I'm working on is a glass panel system, and so it's actually two pieces of glass that encase within it a system of thermal bimetal. And that thermal bimetal, when cool, will allow you to see visibly through the system. But when the sun hits it and heats up that gap in between, the thermal bimetal will curl, and by curling will actually start to shade the area behind it. What it does in effect is it is able to automatically act like a shutter system, so you don't have to open and close manually. So it'll prevent a lot of heat gain from getting into the building and therefore reduce the amount of mechanical system or artificial cooling that would be needed for the building. Given digital technology, given the interest in material development, given the interest in how we really have to rethink how we live, because if we continue this way, it's going to be a problem. So being a researcher at USC right now is a really exciting time because this is a time we're really going to change our future.